Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video. Today, we're going to be going over these new dates that were rumored for the first DLC dropped. And honestly, we could possibly see a huge overhaul for WWE 2K22 My Faction when it comes to Faction Wars and Proving Grounds getting new rewards. So if that happens, it's going to be great. And we're going to talk about that right now. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like on this video, man. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're on the road to 3K subs. So, hey, help me out by clicking that subscribe button. I promise you, you won't regret it because not only is this a My Faction channel, but this is a gaming channel as well. So whenever new games come out, I will be posting them on the channel. I tried posting Lego Star Wars, but it got blocked on the channel and I had the music off and everything. So... The next big game that comes out, I will be having that on the channel for you guys, and it's going to be really dope. So, um, so yeah, I can't wait for that. But, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like on this video as well. And without further ado, let's get into this, all right? So, April 26th is a date that people have been talking about in my comment section and on Twitter. They've been saying that April 26th should be the time that we get our first DLC drop for 2k22 which does make sense you know what i'm saying it does make sense because the early access of the game uh did come out on a tuesday now the thing that gets me a little bit concerned about that though we could get the dlc drop on that day for me when it comes to my faction i don't know how we would get stuff added on that day because Normally, my faction gets updates on Friday, so for it to be updated on a Tuesday is a little bit weird. It could happen, even though the game did launch on a Tuesday. That I could see that happening, but 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 there is a chance that once this DLC drop, you know, comes to the game on the Tuesday, that Friday we could see something huge as well. And like I said, if we if that happens. We're all good to go, and hopefully we get some major drops. And, and, and you know, here's the thing: we don't even need to get the cards, you know, added to Faction Wars and Proving Grounds on that Friday. Yes, it would be great, but I would be more happy if they say, "Hey, here's a blog post. Here's what we plan on doing with my faction, and here's a roadmap of what's going to happen in the game. We plan on adding these cards, these packs, these things to the game modes." Plus, with some bug fixes and stuff. They do that. I feel like we will be all good to go. You know what I'm saying? We just need that communication and everything else. And a lot of you guys agreed with me on, you know, they need a My Faction Twitter account. If they did that. That would be cool. An official Twitter account. That way we can get all the news we need. That way we're not really pretty much predicting what's happening. Because so far, all the predictions that I made on this game mode have came true so far. Every single one of them. And so this is the one predi prediction that I'm a little bit, you know, iffy on because though it could happen, I just don't know if it will truly make sense. I mean, it does make sense though. It kind of does line up though because the 26th is next week. And then that week, the 29th, we will be getting new packs added to the game. So that there's a high possibility that we will get the DLC drop then, you know what I'm saying? So I want you guys to let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. And I also think that those packs will be WrestleMania Backlash packs because isn't Backlash on like the 8th or something? So there you go. We might get WrestleMania Backlash packs on the 29th. No, I'm not saying might. We probably will. There's an 85% chance that we see Backlash packs coming to 2K22, my faction, on the 29th and with that we will also get some dope cards alongside with that you know from the dlc one pack or they might just save that for the 13th of may and that's when they're gonna change up everything because if you guys do not remember faction wars will be updated may 1st and it fits along perfectly right let's say the dlc drop does happen next week we probably won't get anything from my faction other than those backlash packs right then may 1st you know the, the you know once may happens may 1st we'll get the faction wars updates and hold who knows who knows 
They might even change, you know, the other rewards and proving grounds and everything else. If not, maybe on the 13th, they will. When we get new packs and everything new. But I don't see why they would separate it like that. So May 1st should be the time we get that. You know what I'm saying? And not only that, but the month of May, we will be getting Ruby packs as well. So that's another big plus. So there's a lot of stuff that's really interesting to you know look forward to for this game mode. And one of my biggest problems is this though. If we do, you know, if May comes and we don't get anything new for Faction Wars and Proving Grounds, that's going to be a little bit concerning because it's like, all right, that means the game has been out for two months straight. Two months straight. Or three months. Going on three months. Yeah, going on three months straight with no My Faction, like, actual changes. Like, yeah, you can add in packs. You can add in weekly towers. But other than that, we need Proving Grounds and Faction Wars to get updated. And a lot of you guys are like, yo, I, I feel like they're going to drop an online mode this year. As much as I would love that, and like as much like I would like totally agree with you, trust me guys, knowing 2K, like I've been playing 2K for us years, years. And I trust me, I know 2K, they are not gonna add an online mode this year. I can guarantee you they won't. And I, I hate to be that negative person, but I'm just saying, I'm not a negative person, but I hate to act like one right now because it's like, we're not gonna get it until next year. Because the reason why, marketing marketing what are they gonna do when 2k23 comes out hey yo you guys that love my faction uh you guys want an online mode right oh yeah that's gonna be in 2k23 so if you buy 2k23 you'll have your online mode right there so that's what they're gonna do you know what i'm saying so it sucks that that's how it's gonna be and that's probably when we'll get the auction house and everything and i guarantee that's when they're gonna copy and paste everything from nba 2k23 i mean yeah nba 2k23 when it comes out as well so um, that's gonna be crazy. And when NBA 2K23 does come out, I do plan on picking that up early. I know this is like months from it even being revealed, but once it does, I'm going to NBA 2K, I'm talking about, I'm going to be buying it, checking it out, and I'm going to make a video on how WWE 2K23 needs to be. So that's gonna be really dope. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel because it's gonna be updated. They might add some new stuff, and with that new stuff, could be great for the development of WWE 2K23. So that's something I do plan on doing. So um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting next four weeks. We have from now, which is the 18th, all the way up till May 13th, to figure out what's going to happen with this mode. And honestly, by the 13th of May, if we don't see any changes with Faction Wars and Proving Grounds, then I'm not going to say we need to worry. But I'm going to be like, okay, what is what is 2K going to do? Hopefully, we see signs. Hopefully, we see some locker codes, some new stuff, packs. Obviously, we're going to see new packs. But hopefully, we see something happen. And um, with that, that's going to, you know, determine everything with this mode. You know what I'm saying? This mode is amazing. And I cannot wait for them to add an online mode because I want to live stream the online modes for you guys. I want to do so much uh, auction house tips and tricks. How to get the best cards for cheap and everything I'm gonna I'm be all up on it you guys know me I'm gonna be all up on it so hopefully that's what happens soon but for now it's kind of a waiting game we'll find out what happens next Friday with the backlash packs we're gonna get backlash packs I'm calling it now if we don't get backlash packs I'll be kind of shocked but we should get backlash packs and then 26 we should see also um the dlc one drop and uh you know if the if the rumors are true i'm not saying the rumors are true but if they are true it's going to be on the 26th if not i wouldn't be surprised if you know we get a reveal down the line but that's pretty much it for today guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure you guys like subscribe favorite share this video i really appreciate each and every one of you guys and do me a big favor like this video subscribe if you knew a lot of you guys search up the channel search up the videos and everything or it gets recommended to you guys hit that subscribe button because i promise you you won't regret it because we play other games out here and my faction and it's some great content you guys do not want to miss it all right so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so we can get to 3k and comment something down below as well all right but thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys on the next one have a blessed day have a great day and i'll see you guys on the next one. i'm signing out peace